our pioneer for this week is Mr. Marcel Faustiano Augustin Gums, born on our sister island of Curaçao and migrated to St. Martin in the early 60s. Back in 1975, I returned to the island after completing my studies as air traffic controller. I work at Juliana Airport together with the likes like Elton Jones, Jane Christian, Junior Williams, Jan Brown, and many, many others. In, 1990, in 1975, at the beginning, let's say, of the growth of aviation and landing at the airport, tourism was important. It was important for us to work to keep the airport open as much as possible so that we can get the tourists to come in and stay at our hotels. In those days, it was a pleasure working with the colleagues. We were limited, but it was all together. Everybody working for one intention, St. Martin. St. Martin, by working on the economy and making sure that the planes come in on time, and even if they are late, sometime late at night, we will stay to accommodate them as much as possible. We have experienced those years the growth of incentives travel, where you'll have charters come in with 250 guests every week. We also had in those days the charter flights, especially during the Holy Week, with the Venezuelan market. It was something else to see the Venezuelan market, how it grew in tourism to this country. Every Holy Week, from Wednesday, Holy Wednesday down to Easter Monday, you'll have charters every night, four or five charters coming in with hundreds and hundreds of Venezuelan tourists to come and spend and enjoy the beaches, enjoy the shopping, and shopping they did. We also developed in those years, the beginning of the private jets. There were not many, but they started coming very, very often, and we had to assist as much as possible because there was really no handling agents for private jets. All in all, the airport played a very, very important role. And for all of us at the airport, it was a pleasure and honor to make a contribution to the development of tourism. Tourism, you cannot have tourism with hotels alone and beaches. You need the airport. You need people to work at the airport. You need people to work in the air traffic control towers. You need people to work in the flight information office. It's an area of the development, an area of economy that people don't see much and don't hear. There's a saying going, air traffic controllers is who tell pilots where to go. I encourage all young people to go and try to get involved in aviation. It's a very, very exciting area to be in. You are not only working in an exciting field, air traffic control with the airlines, but also you are making a contribution because when the tourist lands, believe me, it's the airport workers, the people at the airport is who they meet first. So being an airport aviation worker, you become a real, real first introduction ambassador for the tourists coming to this island. All in all, a very exciting area to work in and to be able to make a contribution to your country. Step up to the plate, go to the airport, Go, look at the plane's land and enjoy and go and research the possibility for getting a career in aviation. All in all, you will help build this country and you will help put heads in beds. Following his aviation career at the airport, Mr. Gums entered politics and dedicated himself to what he loves most, working for and with the people of St. Martin. Mr. Gums, we thank you for your contribution to tourism.